Ivan, what are the lessons learned after Hurricane Ian? Uh, Naja, thanks. Good to see you. An incredible uh, perspective uh, there from her, and uh, we hope you know folks do heed the warning. Changes definitely, and in fact, we've made some changes here at Next Weather. I'll share with that as far as how we present the cone. But some of the things that we've learned from Ian was the final report, and we learned that Ian was actually stronger than what we originally thought. This was indeed a Category 5 hurricane of 160 mile an hour winds. Now it reached that intensity, that peak, before it made landfall. It didn't really make a difference because it came in and roared ashore as a Category 4 of 150 mile an hour winds. And of course, the, the devastation there was not the wind, it was the storm surge, the Gulf of Mexico, just, uh, you know, uh, encompassing all of Fort Myers Beach, and you've seen the damage, the costliest hurricanes we've been talking about, and 150 deaths, 66 uh, of those, uh, by the way, were directly attributed to the hurricane making landfall, the others were indirect, and out of those 66, all but four were drownings. We have to really get that message out, and some people say, oh, you're hyping the storm, but that is what happens when you are in a storm surge situation and you can't get yourself out. Those people Drown. So as we talk about this cone, this is, I think, one of the problems, and I've been talking about this uh, for years now, this center icon. Don't we all focus on that? Sure, it's spinning. It's got a number. That's where you think the hurricane is going. And yes, you know, this is where we think the center of the storm will go. The eye of the storm will go. But I think it's a bit misleading, right? Because all of a sudden, if the icon moves a little bit to the west or a little bit to the east, you're saying, oh, well, I'm in better shape. The cone itself actually didn't shift that much across this area. Fort Myers remained in the cone the entire time, but the icons did change. So we're getting rid of that. In fact, we did that after Ian and for the rest of uh, the seasons to come. The cone, uh, the uh, center icon is gone. This is the cone, and I think it just gives you a better sense of where the danger is going to be. And when you talk about a hurricane, yes, the center is uh, important here. And that is something that we are doing uh, looking forward. The National Hurricane Center has extended their outlooks, as we've been talking about, upwards of seven days now, so to give people more of a heads up of something that is coming. But uh, this storm was predictable, and the deaths were unavoidable, and uh, we're going to try our darndest here to make sure that that message is clear, concise, and urgent to avoid any more loss of life when we're talking about a landfalling hurricane anywhere, but of course in our home state. Naja.